What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. We have another video today. This one's going to be more for the collectors. Um, I'm going to show you how to get all of the Aberus tier appearances, LFR, Normal, Heroic, Mythic, all those transmogs without setting foot in Mythic Plus, without raiding. So the TLDR of this, if you don't want to watch the whole video, is basically the Time Rifts, the new event that came out with the 10.1.5 patch, will give you uh, the 402 gear, which can be catalyzed to LFR appearance that you can upgrade to normal, and then the new Mega Dungeon will give you the Heroic appearance, which you can be upgraded to the Mythic appearance. So you can collect the awesome, you know, the Priest set, the uh, the Rogue set, you know, all of these awesome, like really cool sets that traditionally have been pretty hard to get, especially the Raid Finder and the Mythic. You can get all of these super, super easy. So let's check out the Time Rifts and then we'll go check out the Mega Dungeon. All right, guys, so the time are going to start over here in Thaldrassus, where I marked it on the map. You're going to talk to this NPC here named Sora Dormi. You can talk to her at the top of every hour, so like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, um, you know, 10 o'clock, etc. And you're able to interact with her for about 10 minutes. So the entire time rift is 15 minutes, but it cuts off after about 10 minutes. So you'll talk to her, she'll have some dialogue asking you to help out. And then basically your objective is to just kind of go around the area. You'll have like little mini games to do. Um little times where they want you to kill as many enemies in the area as you can. Um, sometimes it's like a puzzle. Sometimes there is like a an elite you have to do or something you have to like move or pick up. So it's just a bunch of small little tasks and you really don't need to worry too much about that temporal essence bar at the top. Um, all that's going to do is give you like a tiny little extra reward, which is going to have um, some of the currency and a little bit of the rep. It really isn't that much. It's like 50, 100, 200 for the different breakpoints or something like that. So really don't stress too much about filling the bar. And the important thing is to have talked to Sora Dormi to actually start the time rift. Technically, you could just AFK the whole thing. Um, you know, that's kind of bad mannered, but if you really want to, I've done it. It's nothing stopping you from doing that and still getting the reward that we're going to do. So every week, each character, the first time they complete a time rift, they're going to get an item from the um, anomaly that spawns at the end. And it's basically a little token that you can turn into one of the vendors. And that's going to give you 402 um, item level gear. Now, the cool thing about this gear is that it can be used in the catalyst to unlock the LFR tier appearance for Aberus. So it's a great way for alts to catch up. Um, if you're trying to like get like that last piece of tier gear to get your four piece or your two piece, um, as far as gearing your entire character, it's a little bit slower because you are kind of locked to this once a week. But this gear can be upgraded all the way up to 424. So you can start with the 402, turn it into the catalyst for LFR, and then you can upgrade it with the flight stones and the crests to get the normal appearance, which starts unlocking at 415. Um, so yeah, so basically once the time rifts are um, going on, you know, you can join a group, you can do them solo. It's not hard content. It's nothing that needs a group. It's nothing that, um, I think they actually also scale to your level. So if you're doing an alt, you can do these. And then when your alt gets to 70, you can use those tokens to kind of have that gear ready and go jump in the catalyst and start working on those appearances. Now, like I was saying earlier, the entire time rift lasts for 15 minutes. So the first 10 minutes, you're going to be doing these tasks. And then the last five minutes, a little portal opens in the middle and you're going to go in there and there's going to be a, an, a rare elite that you're going to go kill. It's a group thing. It is soloable, um, a little trickier on some classes, but, um, you know, my hunter, my paladin, my tanks, you can definitely solo it if there's nobody else with you. Um, so once we are finishing up here with the, the rifts, you are going to sometimes run across um, some items. There's like these, you know, time warped weapons or something that'll drop. It's just like a quest that you can turn into Sora Dormi. Again, gives you a tiny bit of um, rep, tiny bit of uh, the currency. So don't stress too much about finding those. If you're an achievement hunter, there is a meta achievement for that, but that's all they do. They don't do anything with the gear. So now you can see into the rift. So the middle is open, the portal. Fly over, jump in, and once we get in here, it's going to be some sort of like multiversal um, alternate Azeroth. So this one, I think, is, I mean, it's irrelevant. It's basically like the Void has taken over Azeroth or something. So 
this fracture causality will turn into some sort of elite based around the theme after about 10 seconds. And then they have very um, basic mechanics, nothing crazy. Usually just have to dodge something or attack some ad or something to make sure the boss isn't immune. So once we finish this boss, he is going to give us that little token I was talking about. Um, that is what we're going to turn in to get the 402 gear. So we're just finishing up the boss. There is also a chance for some um, transmog like armor. There's some mounts. There's some pets um, that all the vendors in the area sell. Sometimes they can drop from this too if you're lucky. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah, so if you turn in those quests, again, nothing that needs to be done if you're just trying to collect the LFR sets. So basically we are going to look at Shy Everbreeze. She is the vendor who sells the armor and she's going to have those different um, pieces that you can unlock and start working on that LFR appearance. Now the mega dungeon is the other part of this transmog collecting that we're going to do. So the mega dungeon is kind of Blizzard's attempt at like a five man raid scenario. Um, so the bosses are a little bit harder. You know, they have, um, a few more mechanics and like typical dungeon bosses. It is a little bit difficult, but it isn't anything that you can't do with a pug. I've done it on characters that were 420 item level. As long as you know the fights, as long as you know your class, your role, um, you can usually get through there and it helps a lot to just kind of make your own group. You'll find people that are still doing learning groups, first clear groups. Um, so there are people that will be willing to group with you if you don't feel comfortable enough, you know, at the higher item levels. Um, but basically what the mega dungeon does is it drops 437 item level gear. Now 437 item level gear is on that hero track. So the hero track starts at, um, like maybe 428, I think, and it goes up to 441. So the cool thing about the mega dungeon is this gear that drops in here is going to start at 437, which is four out of five on the hero track. So that means you only need to upgrade it one more time to 441, which unlocks that mythic appearance for transmogs. So the way you're going to do that is all the bosses drop the gear, but the bosses also drop the crest fragments that you need to turn into um, the crest that upgrades the gear from 437 to 441. Usually you can only get those fragments from Mythic Raid or High Mythic Plus. Like um, I think it was 16s or pluses drop those, but you can get them here. So every week you do a full clear of the Mega Dungeon. It's eight bosses. Um, it will drop you three crests worth of fragments and then you usually get like one to two pieces of gear sometimes you'll get really lucky and get three or maybe you'll be with um, an armor class that doesn't need it and they'll trade you something so you take that gear the 437 make sure you do it at 437 first to the catalyst don't upgrade it to 441 because you'll lose the chance of getting the heroic rate appearance so 437 take the gear to the catalyst upgrade it after you've catalyzed it and that will give you the heroic and then the mythic raid appearance. So time rifts gets you the LFR and normal. Mega dungeon gets you the heroic and mythic. And you don't have to do any raids. You don't have to do any mythic plus. There is nothing else you have to do if all you want to do is transmog collect. Um, something you could do if you do feel comfortable coming into like kind of the lower mythic pluses right now. 11s are pretty easy to join. They're pretty easy to pug, easy to run. Um, they're really straightforward. They usually take 15, 20 minutes max, and those will give you a chance at hero gear in your vault for the following week. So you can also run one, four, or eight mythic pluses to fill your vault at 11, um, and that will give you some heroic gear that you can, again, use those crests from the mega dungeon to upgrade to 441. So that's, if you wanted to take one more shot, one more chance to try and get um, the heroic and the mythic gear. That's just something else you could add on. But again, totally unnecessary. You don't have to do that. It's just something that you could supplement this with. But that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for um, checking it out. I am streaming over at Twitch every weekday. Um, it's usually start around 9 a.m. and go to the afternoon. But we're having a ton of fun over there. I'd love to see you guys come out, come hang out. Let's play some games. Let's make fun of ourselves. Um, I'll just keep it casual. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Yep.